Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tinola. So today is officially day seven of my quarantine. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been eating recently, which I find very tasty and healthy at the same time. And this is something that you guys can definitely try out. So I've been making chicken shawarma today, yes. It's really tasty guys, like if you've never tried this, don't worry, just watch me do it. Now, the first thing you want to do is to marinate it and that's what I'm, I'll be doing right now. So this chicken breast I got from Walmart. Look at that. So I just washed out the chicken and I'm going to chop it. some salt some turmeric just a little bit because yeah turmeric is good for you and some thyme i like to always add thyme in my food oops hope that was not too much and chili pepper and maggi just half of this should be good you want to work all that together yeah i know it looks a little bit messy but it's gonna come out great don't worry all right the next thing is to do the tortillas that we're going to be using so i'm going to be doing this from the scratch guys i told you i'm going to do everything from the scratch all right at this point we're going to make our tortillas and what you need is all-purpose flour a bowl i'm just using my hands to lightly um, break any lumps that i feel in the flour and yes it's going to get really messy you're going to need baking powder just a little bit some salt you can use kocha salt sea salt whichever one you want just a little bit of salt actually and i like to add nutmeg i feel like nutmeg does give a lot of taste to any pastry that i bake mix all of that together now the last thing you need is oil you can use um, lard you can use shortening you can also use oil like I'm using canola oil just a little bit not too much because you want the tortilla to be soft right so you need oil I'm going to add some water so this is what it looks like at this point I'm going to add some water so I have some water and then I mix all of that in yeah at this point now this is what we call messy look at it guys this is good consistency you need good consistency no judgment get a surface and take the dough we're going to make it flat if you have a rolling pin, you can use a rolling pin, but like I said, no judgment. I'm going to be using a butt. Don't worry, guys. It's going to come out good. Trust me. Just trust me on this one. You're going to like the outcome. Okay, so this is flat. All right, so this is flat enough. If you want to make it 
circle you just need to get the round surface to cut it according to the size you want so you need a non-stick fry pan and i'm going to put it on low heat remember we have that marinated chicken uh-huh so it's time to get it fried as we are waiting for the tortillas to be done for the chicken i added just a little tiny bit of butter before i forget i need to add garlic to the chicken yeah you guys you need garlic it gives it just this <gasps> nice aroma So the inside is ready so let's put this away i have this on a flat plate putting the tortilla in my oven and that's because once it gets really cold and hard sometimes it breaks so i don't want that to happen so this is the chicken it's done and i have here diced tomatoes diced lettuce and pickles with cream so this is the cream i'll be using i mixed plain yogurt this plain yogurt with my Caesar dressing. It's time to put everything together. So my camera literally went off at this point. At this point, like, like really, why would you do that? I was so excited to show you guys how I was going to put it together. But basically, I just added all the ingredients layered after each other. And I'm going to add just a little bit of ketchup this is totally optional I just love the taste of ketchup in this and that's it just gonna wrap it up with a wax paper and put it back on the non-stick fry pan and just leave it there for about one minute just to warm it up and yeah that's everything I do for this recipe and it does taste yum yum like you guys need to try this if you want to get the accurate measurement for all this recipe, you guys can check like other videos on YouTube. We have tons of videos on how to make tortillas so you get the actual measurements for your ingredients. But aside that, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comment box below if you did. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.